Hey guys, it's Vishali So. I'm back at Stamford Bridge. I watched Chelsea take on Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup third round. Now, today's vlog is only focused on one man, and that is Cesc Fabregas, who we think has played his last game for Chelsea. It hasn't yet been confirmed. It looks like he's off, and it looks like he's off to Monaco. It was an emotional day for him uh, and for everyone involved. Now, he captained the side today, and you could see from the moment he came out, um, that he was feeling the emotions. You know, he, he spent some time before the game talking to fans. Uh, he signed autographs just near me, actually, in the dugout. Um, he signed shirts. And then, you know, when he went onto the pitch, you could see he was quite emotional, but he had a really good game, apart from that one moment when he missed that, uh, that penalty, but he didn't miss it, uh, still saved it. But that was a moment you feel that if this is his last game, he will remember for the rest of his life because he would have loved to have capped off his Chelsea career with a goal as Chelsea captain. Unfortunately for him, um, he struck that penalty. It was it was too low, it was too slow and still basically was able to get to it. Um, but despite that, even though he didn't score that goal, um, I don't think he could take anything away from his performance. It was a very, very good performance at the heart um, of Chelsea's midfield. It's a shame he hasn't played more. I mean, I know Jorginho is central and key to Sarri's um, Sarri ball sort of style of play and system, but Fabregas has done really well when he's been called upon. And I just, uh, looking back at when he was playing under Antonio Conte. Conte didn't play Fabregas for much of his uh, sort of early period and tenure as manager. But Fabregas worked hard. He did everything he had to in order to get Conte to trust him. And he did win over his trust and he started to play more and more. Unfortunately for Fabregas, a change in manager has meant a change in system and therefore limited game time for him. It's a shame if he doesn't stay. And I think the fans will, will fondly remember him. But I think um, he's been a good servant to the club. I think he's done really well. In what was his last game? I know he didn't score that penalty, but it was a really good performance. And afterwards, I took a video of um, his farewell lap of honour and he left the pitch in tears. Um, he actually didn't come out in the mix zone today, didn't come out to speak to reporters. Um, and um, I think I think he's going to be one emotional man um, today. But uh, yeah, wishing him the best of luck in everything that is ahead for him. I'm sure he'll uh, have a great time wherever he goes. And he'll be a really good player. Um, as for Chelsea, well, they've got Jorginho now in that role, but they're probably going to have to strengthen a little bit because they don't have someone who is as creative as Fabregas. Um, but guys, leave your thoughts on what you think about Fabregas leaving and, and how great of a player he has been for Chelsea. But not just Chelsea, Arsenal as well, you know, uh, because it looks likely he'll be leaving the Premier League. Leave your comments uh, below this video and hit subscribe and I'll be back very soon because the next game for me is Chelsea's League Cup semi-final first leg against Tottenham. See you then.